Alright, should be good to go. I have a couple of hours of free time this morning, and with nothing better to do, I figured why not try to continue our New Game Plus save file on Risk of Rain 2. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, let me just make sure everything here appears to be good. Um, so yeah, like, like I've promised before, no progress has been made on this save file since I last streamed it. So it's still got all the same stuff. Um, and that will continue to be the case for as long as, uh, you know, I feel like it, which for now, I still feel like doing it. So, um, and as before, the rules are simple, monsoon only, uh, and majority of the time, eclipse. Uh, if something is not possible on eclipse for an unlock, then we will switch over to monsoon. Um, so I believe, if I'm not mistaken, uh, we just played Commando. Uh, yeah, we've, we've picked Commando twice and Huntress only once, but Commando hasn't gotten a lot of action compared to Huntress. So, I don't know. I don't know which one to pick, honestly. Also, forgot I should pull up my chat on my phone. There we go. All right. Perfect. So, that's pulled up. All right. So, let's go ahead and... Ooh. There we go. All right. Um... Let's just do Huntress. Let's try to uh, make sure we show, sort of show off each character an equal amount. Plus, it seems like I was having better luck with Huntress regardless, so... Um, and we will be taking the fuel array until it uh, is no longer necessary, until we unlock Rex, because... I desperately want to unlock Rex. He'll be like probably one of the first, well no, Bandit's probably going to be like the first character that I actually enjoy that we will unlock, because I'm not a big fan of Huntress or Commando. Um, how much is this drone? 40. I love how pathetic beetles are. Like, like that was just sad. Uh, there? Nope, that wisp was further away than I thought it was. Alright, let's try to get some early money. Now we do have to be careful because fuel array makes our health essentially cut in half and we have to remember not to use the stupid shrine of blood. <laughs> Arrow rain is so bizarre to me, like it doesn't feel nearly powerful enough for how difficult it can be to use. But I suppose it's better than uh, Commando having literally no AOE uh, built in. You know, as far as I'm concerned, keep spawning elites, because that's just free money. Oh, okay, well. Could have been better, but could have been worse, honestly. Could have been worse. Could have been like, I don't know, um, like interstellar brain stocks. That, that wouldn't have been all that great. Actually, that probably would have been good. I don't know. 
I know that there's some pretty bad legendary items, some pretty bad red items out there, so... Please don't screw me, Shrine of Chance. Or do, because that's how I unlocked Paul's Goat Hoof, and I don't recall if I've already unlocked it. very risky. Alright, well, it didn't unlock Paul's goat hoof for me, but that's okay. Oh, well, I already have Paul's goat hoof unlocked, so never mind. <laughs> Get this chest. Forest tome, let's go. See some beetles? Let's try and take them out. At least Arrow Rain has infinite range, because Huntress's range can be a little annoying to deal with. Three Lunar Coins, that's not bad. Pretty close to, well not close necessarily, but closer to unlocking Artificer than, than Zero, I guess, so, you know, that's nice. <laughs> Alright, it seems like there's so little left on the stage, and it's all so close to the teleporter that we should just start the teleporter and grab everything after we're done. And Beetle Queen got a lot more threatening when she would now that she summons Beetle Guards instead of just regular old Beetles. Uh, luckily, Huntress's mobility should keep us safe, relatively speaking. Okay, let's just play smart and don't get cocky. I wish I knew how to use Cautious Slugs properly, because honestly, I just straight up don't. I'm too irresponsible. Ooh, look at all this free money for if I leave it here, I can take it with me to the next stage. I don't know if I'll be able to get all of it. Alright, so I remember there's like a turret up here and maybe a drone up here as well to buy. Yeah, here's the turret. And I think there was a drone. Yeah, there's a drone. Healing drone? Yes. Uh, I don't think there was anything else really important, so... Let's go ahead and leave while we still have a somewhat decent pace. Oh, I messed that up. I think I got both nuggets. Yeah, it looks like I did from the amount of money I currently have, so... Uh... Give me medkit. I think I need more healing. Oh, thank you, Gore's Tome. What is that? A little Disciple. Not exciting, but not like it matters regardless. Do not use the Shrine of Blood. That would be a very poor mistake. Oops. Sorry, Pot. I have to try to be careful not to break all the pots so I can go for the bands.
Alright, I think I should have enough now for this. Oh, razor wire. Don't mind if I do, honestly. I've got plenty of money, let's try to go actually grab some chests. I don't know why I opened this. So that was kind of a waste. Here's another chest. I guess if I ever get caught up in a panic, I can very quickly change my equipment so I might not die. Yeah, let's say I definitely did that on purpose. Give me more movement speed every day of the week. Got another boost to our income, so let's go ahead and keep looking around. Okay, so here's one of our buttons. Do we have any pots nearby it? Not really, so we're gonna have to hope that our other button does. Is that the other button? I don't know. I thought I saw something maybe, but it's really hard to tell. Uh, man, I really thought there would have been more chests than this. Alright, well, if that's the case, then I guess I'll just leave the level, or, you know, go start the teleporter. Let's go ahead and, for safety reasons, grab the milky chrysalis. Ah! And unlock. Um, what, what's it even called again? I don't remember. <laughs> You know, this equipment's a lot better than uh, than I tend to give it credit for, because it kind of keeps you safe when you when you just you know float high up in the sky. Well, based on our uh, DPS so far, I wouldn't rate our odds of killing him before or during the big suck to be very high. Yeah, he's kinda gaining HP faster than we can make him lose HP. Ooh, let me fly. the ukulele. Suppose I won't complain.
All right, um, let's grab this and then let's see about our button situation. So we've, we've got one here. Uh, there's kind of a pot nearby. We'll see how pushing this pot goes. Um, and if it fails, we'll just leave. If it doesn't fail, then we will. All right, well that failed, so let's just leave. Um, because I don't think it's going to be worth trying to find the other button. Uh, and then also trying to push a pot onto it. I think we should just leave. Not get too greedy. Alright. Because this is already a pretty solid run and I'd hate to get, like, outscaled just because I wanted to get the bands. left some Gore's Tome drops for me so I could enter this level with a bit more extra cash. Bustling fungus, let's go. Oh, that failed. Okay, what do we got up here? Any cool items? Hello. Ah, uh, loving the Gorse Tome Drops today. Like, it has been very generous. Uh, oh, I did not have my shift ready like I thought I did. Why do Shrines of Chance hate me? Thank you. Ah! High level threat detected. Thank God that has been taken care of. All right, we've got some money. Let's make sure we actually spend it. Banner printer doesn't really excite me. I hate you, Shrine of Chance. Why do you do this to me? Okay, thank you. Stop. Stop! <laughs> Alright, well, let's just keep moving, because obviously that's going to be a waste of money. Crowbar. I know Huntress needs like 7 or 12 of those for an unlock. What is this, a fireworks printer? Those are always fun, because, you know, every time you use it, you just activate its ability, so it's kind of like a, you know, a loop, a feedback loop. But, uh, obviously, it's not very practical, it's just kind of funny. And how much are you? Ah, uh, 276.
Hey! Uh-oh. Okay, thank god fall damage wasn't actually that severe. Okay. Yep. There we go. And this is a great item to have. Very excited for a future now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a little trippy. Uh, I think we have enough money to just kind of start the teleporter and then grab all the items still remaining after the teleporter event. I did not appreciate being that close. <laughs> Yeesh. This boss, for some reason, always kind of feels like one of the most intimidating, and yet is like actually one of the least threatening. Just the way it presents itself is so frightening. But then you actually fight it and you're like, you're not even hitting me. Like this is pathetic. Honestly, what wouldn't be too bad from this fight is getting Little Disciple, because that's the boss drop, and Huntress can actually attack while sprinting, so having something that has an, uh, a, sp a sprint effect is extra effective for her. Now, we didn't get Little Disciple, but we got something pretty much significantly better, uh, so I, I won't be complaining about that, no siree. I think I see a Gore's Tome chunk, which we will leave. Alright, let's go ahead and check out the le the rest of the level. Oh, is that a Soldier Syringe Printer? I think it is. That will be very nice. Oh, and a band. Lovely. Alright, here's another chest. Ooh, very nice. Gonna help me... <laughs> Round up the remaining chests a lot quicker. Let's see, anything down below? No. Anything up here? No. Alright. Then let's go up here. Gotta be careful with my warp now, because it can uh, make me take a pretty hefty chunk of fall damage. And we gotta hope that we get the right stage 4, otherwise carrying this battery this whole way will have been for nothing. Oh, yes. More soldier syringes are always welcome. Alright, so I don't think there's a scrapper on this stage, but that's okay because soldier syringe printer is too good to pass up. Uh, and our whites aren't looking super spectacular anyway. Just please don't take, like, Paul's goat hoof. Yes, take the leeching seeds. Take even the medkits, honestly. Yes! We'll go one more. We'll go one more. Okay. Actually, we'll go another, since it hasn't taken a good item yet. Oh yeah, as long as it doesn't take my good items, we'll keep delving into this. Okay, well that kind of sing stinks to lose, but it's not necessarily a good item. Alright, you know what? Ten soldier syringes is probably a uh, good, good place to stop. Alright, so let's go ahead and leave the level. I don't know why we haven't unlocked Bandit yet. That's kind of surprising. Maybe there's some glitch that doesn't let you unlock him on Eclipse difficulty? Because you just have to complete the third teleporter event to unlock Bandit, and we have done that several times. So, I wonder what's up with that. Because other unlocks work on Monsoon, so I don't know why character unlocks wouldn't. Ooh, baby, I'm loving the head soldier syringes, let me tell ya.
This feels quite good. And of course, we didn't get the right stage four. Instead, we got probably the worst of all possible choices for stage four. Because that's my luck. But it's okay, we will persevere, we will unlock Rex another day, and who knows, maybe we can't even unlock Rex on Eclipse for whatever reason. Well, we'll keep sticking to our Eclipse only rule uh, until uh, we try to unlock another character and it fails. If unlocking another character fails, we'll switch over to Monsoon for a bit just to get some characters unlocked and then we'll come back to Eclipse. This guy kind of terrifies me. The uh, glacial Elder Lemurian. Oh. I need to get an equipment, like, ASAP. Also, buying that turret was a literal waste of money. Uh, gotta be careful. But yeah, I need new equipment ASAP since this fuel array is no longer going to be relevant uh, very, very quickly. So, or, well, it is already no longer relevant. I just haven't had the opportunity to replace it. You, you know what I'm talking about. I've never been very good at words. You understand. I could really use some bleed, honestly, with how fast we're attacking. Um, oh! I knew I shouldn't have gotten close to that guy, but what did I do? I got close to him, because I was scared of leaving him around on the stage. Just wanted to get rid of him as soon as possible. So, that kind of sucks. But, don't worry, we're not done. We'll do, we'll do one more commando run, at the very least. Maybe a couple more. We'll see. <laughs> 